Number 33, a small artery has a length of 1.1 times 10 to the minus three meters and a radius of 2.5 times 10 to the minus five meters. If the pressure drop across the artery is 1.3 kilopascal, what is the flow rate through the artery? Assume that the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Um, so here we have an artery that has a length of 1.1 times 10 to the minus three meters. The radius is 2.5 times 10 to the minus five meters. And the pressure drop across this particular length, meaning the difference between P2 and P1, is given right here. All right, it's also known as the change in pressure. All right, so that was 1.3, uh, I converted this, right, times 10 to the 3 Pascal. Just take this value, multiply it by 1,000. This should all be simple. And there's going to be one other thing we need, and it's going to be the viscosity of blood at body temperature 37 degrees Celsius. So now we need to know the flow rate, right? So we're looking for an equation that relates flow rate to all these variables, and look at this. This one is nice and straightforward, right? So this is just saying basically that the flow rate will be equal to the pressure drop multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius raised to the fourth power, all right, divided by eight multiplied by the viscosity of the moving fluid times the length. So look, this is just a simple plug-in, right? So this is 1.3 times 10 to the third times then pi times then the radius of 2.5 times 10 to the minus five, that's raised to the fourth, all divided now by eight times the viscosity of 2.084 times 10 to the minus three. Just be careful when you look up this value, right? Usually it's in me, uh, milli Pascal, you need it in Pascal. Multiply them by the length, so that's 1.1 times 10 to the minus three meters as they told us. And now voila, all we need to do is plug it on in. So 1.3 times 10 to the third times pi, multiplied by 2.5 times 10 to the minus fifth, raised to the fourth, and then take that whole thing and now divide it by parenthesis eight times 2.084 times 10 to the minus three, multiplied then by 1.1 times 10 to the minus three. And here we get a very small value, right? So the flow rate here is essentially eight point, uh, I guess two sig figs if I'm just looking back, right? They're all two, so 8.7 times 10 raised to the minus 11. And that is in cubic meters per second. All right, so that is the answer. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button. We'll see you next time. Thank you.